Are you looking for easy, quick ideas to help reinforce multiplication skills? Well, if you are, I have four easy games that you can easily do at home to reinforce those skills. My name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics. I help busy, overwhelmed parents understand their child's frustration with dyslexia so they can support, encourage, and empower them. We all know that dyslexia affects more than just reading. It also affects the executive functions. So memorizing the facts. I know that's not executive functions, but it does affect memorizing. It also affects memory recall, working memory, and all of these things don't work quite like everybody else's. So when it comes to that, we have to come up with ways and ideas to reinforce the things that have been learning. And so what I've learned and one of the easiest, funnest ways to do this is through games. And so today I'm sharing four easy games that you can do at home to help reinforce multiplication facts. So the first one is multiplication war. That's right. Simple, easy. Grab a deck of cards. Take out the face cards and the jokers. If you want to leave the jokers in to be more advanced and pick different facts, you can do that. But divide the deck in half and you're going to play it just like the other times. But instead of the person winning with the highest card, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply those two numbers together and the person that gets the, the multiple part right wins that and so they can get quite a large deck of cards and the nice thing is is you never know what is going to be coming so it can be an easy one it could be a hard one and it could be just fun and easy and then you can shuffle the cards up again and do it again and you get a whole different group of multiplication facts the second game is multiplication Jenga. That's right. Get your Jenga set. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either write the facts on the Jenga blocks or you can write the facts on pieces of paper, cut them up and put them in a jar or a can or something. And as you're playing the game, you solve one multiplication fact and then you put it to the side and then the next player goes. And so this is a really fun way to incorporate multiplication while playing games at home. Game number three is checkers. You can take your checkerboard and write multiplication facts on it. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you could also search for a blank checkerboard and write multiplication facts on that. If you didn't like that idea, then you can write the multiplication facts on a piece of paper, cut them up and put them in a bowl or a cup and draw them as you're playing the game, just like with Jenga. The last game I have for you is bingo, and this can be done so many different ways. So you can write the facts on the bingo card, and as you're calling out, you call out the answers. So they have to figure out which one goes together, so it's a little bit different than the other ones. Or you could write the answers and you call out the facts, or you could write both of them and then they have to solve it. I kind of like this one because it reinforces quick math a little bit more than everybody than the other ones and so you could say you call out the number four they would have to go through and figure out which ones have four in fact they could maybe even get two answers with that because they could have four times one on their board and they could also have two times two so this is re-encouraging and making them think backwards so kind of a more advanced but fun way to do this as you can see, you can easily take any game that y'all play at home and put a math twist on it to make it more fun. The best part about this is you don't just have to do this with multiplication. If you are working with addition or subtraction or division or any other math concept, you can take these games and incorporate them easily to make learning more fun and reinforce what they're learning at school. And this way it changes it up. 
I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to let you know that this is part of a series of multiplication tips and tricks that I am working on. I'm going to go ahead and link the other two videos for you right here. I hope that you enjoy them. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter. When you subscribe, you get five free resources from me. But the best part is, is that every week on Tuesday, I release new information to help you better support your child. And this month is all about multiplication. I can't wait to see you in your inbox and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.